Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Winnie RN. I wanted to show you guys what I'm currently working on. This is diamond painting. Uh, this is a six picture. Uh, it's a picture of six princesses from Disney. I'm not super thrilled with the way it's turning out. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift, but I'm not sure that it's going to be because it's really hard to tell what they are. Um, like this is supposed to be Jasmine and I really can't tell close up it's Jasmine. And then here we have uh, Snow White and then the one in the far corner, which you can't really see. Let's see if I can move the camera. This is supposed to be Belle. She's probably the closest one that you can tell what she is right now. Um, but I wanted to come on and do a review of this pen. Uh, it is a pen I got off Amazon for $9. Um, you can actually, I think I got this one from happypainting.com. Um, so it's a diamond pen and it has a solid wax cone on the end so there's no more loading the wax. And then on the other end, it has a single uh, fine tip placer, which I really like that part of it. The end wax cone takes some getting to get used to using, but I have gotten pretty good at using it. Um, it does pick up your drills pretty well. Um, the only problem I have with it is uh, sometimes placing them in the tight spaces gets a little um, hairy and you do have to turn around and reposition with the other end, which is what I do a lot of. So it would be probably just as easy to place them with the other end, but then you've got to keep adding wax to the end of the pin. <clears throat> and with the pen having a long shaft on it, it does make it a little less convenient because you do have to add quite a bit of wax um, onto the pen to keep it picking up the drills. These are round drills that I'm using for this one. I do have a um, square drill painting that I'm going to be doing for breast cancer uh, for an auction for next year. I've already purchased that. I fell in love with it and had to have it. I do have, oh, 13, 14 paintings to complete. I have already completed three for Christmas gifts. Um, I'm just in love with this art form. It's very relaxing. Very similar to paint by numbers without the mess of the paints. These are little diamond drills. Um, and each kit you get comes with a setup similar to this. And I know there's a lot of reviews out there. You've got a wax pad for your pen, some little baggies for open drills, a tray, and a single point uh, pink placer pen. Um, I have a bunch of these now. They've gotten to the point to where the baby plays with them quite a bit. Some of them do come with tweezers because you can place drills with tweezers. Um, I find this very difficult to do and it's I'm not a big fan of it, but some people absolutely love it. I can't even pick one up um, and place it. It just, it's not a very convenient form of diamond painting to do. Um, I'm not even sure where I placed that one. Oh, there it is, they're back in place. And I purchase, um, this little, it's like a little meta pill box, bead box, and I number it one, mine's one through 28, and then however many drills I need to put in the baggies. Um, when they open up, I put a place them in here, then I leave the one open that I'm working on and just set it up out of my way while I'm working. I usually try to work on my paintings for about a half an hour or so in the morning um, before I actually start working. Kind of sets the tone for my day and then in the evening once everybody goes to bed I'll work on this or some type of crochet right now I'm trying to work on uh, some crochet stuff and knit stuff for a craft fair coming up um, in my little home community so that's kind of been my project for now and this one this was supposed to be the last diamond Christmas painting 
uh, gift that I was going to give, but I'm going to, I reordered a different one yesterday for this person. They're Disney lovers. So I, I don't particularly like the way this one comes out. If this one were a bigger painting, it's a 30 by 40. If it were a 40 by 40 or a 40 by 60, or even a 60 by 60, I think the details would be a lot better on it and it would be easier to see the finer details, but it wasn't one that I could change the size on when I purchased it. Um, so it is what it is and I just had to deal with it. I probably will not take the time to frame this painting uh, just because I really don't like it that much. I got some drills that are stuck together. So in order to release those stuck drills, take another one of your tray and just kind of put it on there and they will pop and they will release. Um, so this probably will not be one that I actually uh, frame or do anything with unless it turns out significantly better than what it is now. I will go ahead and finish it because I've started it and I'm more than halfway done with it. Um, but it's probably not going to be one that I paint, I give to anybody uh, just because, like I said, the definition of it is not great. Uh, the fine details, you can't really see where the names are supposed to come out. Each one of the princesses has their name underneath their picture, but you can't really see that because the details are so fine, are not as fine as they should be for this particular painting. Uh, my daughter, I don't know if you can see that one over there. My daughter is working on a, uh, let's see, Little Mermaid for my granddaughter. And she's got Through the Sun done on it. It's a lovely painting. And that one's got terrific details. This one is uh, 40 by 40. Uh, let's see if I can get a good picture of that. There we go. So it's beautiful. It's got lots of shiny crystals on it. We currently use our dining room table for diamond painting until I can get uh, our craft room more organized and set for this to be done in there. I do like the light in here and I do have underneath this board, underneath this one I have a light board. Uh, so, just to give it some background lighting. It helps to be able to see some of the numbers. Some of the numbers are um, hard to see, especially the J's because it's a, it's a darker green with a light colored J in the middle. But like I said, the printing is not great on this one. The, um, the keys on this one, they have one on each side. So as you get further down, you don't have to look back up the top. It does have a picture of what it's supposed to look like in the top corner. Uh, I'll pull it down so you can see it. But it doesn't give a great image of what it's supposed to look like. I mean, the picture looks great, but this painting is not going to look anywhere near like that image. Um, and this one does, it has the DD048, which is the item number. But if you'll notice the uh, key code does not have DMC numbers. And this is probably the third, the second or third one that I've done that does not have DMC codes with it. Um, I try to hold on to my drills and this gives me no idea of what the DMC colors would be so that I can save them. So these go into just a big glass when I'm done for pretty effects. Um, and that's about what I'm doing this morning. I will... Uh, do another review of another painting I did just get in um, my heaven and earth uh, painting that one I'm super excited about but it will not I won't start it until after January um, I have a couple other ones planned for my home and uh, one I had custom made and that one will be the first one that I start so I'm super excited about it it's uh it may be a little offensive to some, but if you know me, you know 
what I'm like, and I think it's absolutely perfect. I got it in, I think it's 60 by 100 uh, rectangle so that I can hang it on one of my walls in the house. And I'll probably do a review on that in the next week or so just to give you guys an idea of how you can have these custom made. You can really use any photo if you find the right company to do it for you. This one is, this one that I'm currently working on is poured glue. I like the poured glue much better um, than the double-sided tape. Uh, just for convenience sake, it does come with a plat that what you're hearing is the plastic cover. When I'm done working, I just cover it back up. Um, I don't work like a lot of uh, diamond artists do. They work in complete rows. This is completely filled in uh, to about here on this painting. So all these diamonds are filled in. Um, and I just use the gems that I have, the drills that I have in the tray until the tray is empty. And then I go back up to another color. But I only work to a certain point, like I'll only work to this line. And then I'll go back up and fill in what I have not done. Uh, I usually try to go in order of the numbers. This one is... Uh, one through eight and one through nine on the key code here and then it goes uh, alphabetical to 20 it has 20 colors and they're not alphabetical in any particular order oops I turned off my board there are just alphabetical letters uh, associated with the numbers so other than that uh, this is the new Fancy that I have uh, working on. It's very relaxing. It's very, um, I won't say mind numbing because it's not. You still have to pay attention to what you're doing, but it's something that you can do while watching TV in the evening or for me listening to an audiobook or when my two year old granddaughter is running around. I can still do this and pay attention to her. Sometimes she likes to sit in my lap, which can be a challenge. Uh, but you'll see reviews for all these different paintings all over YouTube. And I just thought I would do my own specifically of this pen. I've heard some bad reviews about it that not being able to place, you know, in between. It just takes some serious practice. Uh, I think I'm getting better placement with the cone pen because I'm having to take my time to do it as opposed to rushing to place the drills like I was in uh, the first three paintings that I did. Or maybe it's that my placing skill, my fine motor movements are getting better. I'm not sure. But I do have to say overall, I'm a, fan, I'm a fan of the wax cone on this pen. Um, and once it gets to the point where it's too wide to use, I'll look into getting a replacement cone for it or just another pen. It was $9.99 uh, on Happy Painting in one of their accessory kits or accessories area. So that's probably where I'll go back to and purchase another one. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick view this morning of what I was doing and how the diamond paintings generally turn out. Um, I did, like I said, I do have three done for Christmas gifts already, which those are all, they're done, they're underweight, um, they have not been framed yet. I do need to do that in the next couple of days or a week so that I can get some of them mailed out because some of them do have to leave the state. I'm in Florida and they're saying that if you need Christmas gifts mailed this year, you should get them out, get them done early, which that's never been a good option for me because I'm a procrastinator and I do wait till the very last minute to do most things. So anyway, I just wanted to share you guys, share with you guys this pen, the review of this pen and that I really like it. And I hope you guys have a great day. It's a chilly uh, Tuesday in Florida. I think the high today is going to be 57. It was in the forties when I woke up this morning of course, I forgot to close my back door, so my house was 69 when I woke up. 
uh, that's cold to me. It's quite warm to other people. But I will let you guys go. Have a happy Tuesday. And I will talk to you later in the week uh, with another review of a painting and possibly the unreal um, unboxing of my custom uh, painting that I had made. Um, super excited about that. And the one that I bought from Diamond Art Club. Uh, that one is amazing. I think it's from Diamond Art Club, maybe not. Um, it doesn't have, it's not from Diamond Art Club, I take that back. Because it does not have the drills with it, I have to custom order the drills. So I'll go over that uh, with the next painting. Y'all have a great day.